that they can they can find 35,000 uh, 35, lost emails that we can't find. How can they be so powerful that they can tell us, dictate who's going to be the president, who's going to be whatever's going to be in the collusion? You know what I mean? We are empowering them, and they have been the enemy from, from, from the time from J.F. Kennedy when he was talking back there in 1963 when he made the nuclear speech. You know what I mean? you got to understand what it is. God is using this man, and this man has got everybody. He's fighting on all fronts. All fronts. So he really came here. Nobody got everybody wants him. And he still he won against insurmountable odds, the super PACs. You know, well, I guess they're both, they're elated in both parties, you know, to the party bosses, you know what I mean, to the system, to anti-bias media, double standard media. No one is being criticized like Donald Trump other than myself. I, mean, I didn't get the gas statue for no president, but from the time that I stepped out of the goddamn penitentiary, they've been on my ass before the penitentiary, when they were bumming my house and shooting me with the gangsters and the mob. They're you know, all the same thing, man. I welcome what he's doing for America because he's given the spirit a reawakening, you know what I mean? Here you got, what you should be mad about is Alabama that's got legal, legal white supremacy. And they got your name right on there. They got in there, no, no Jews, no, no, no blacks. You know, even their own woman, white woman, she, she's got to be treated because she shouldn't be sullied in this nasty politics. So they, they bullshit her by pushing up on the vanity of white pride and privilege, but at the same time, she ain't got no rights. They still fighting to give her rights. They can't get her rights. I mean, so you got it written down there in law. That's what everybody should be shooting up. You know what I mean? Because the rest of the nation is throwing a rock and hiding their hand. They act like they're going to be with black life is worthless. When you say black life matters, all life matters. But by law, the black life is worthless. Shift is worthless in no account. You can't get around it. You know what I mean? You see it happening. They kill blacks in, some, in, in with impunity and no consequences. You know, because it's, the law says that you know, it, it's not but no value. It ain't like me making it up. You're saying about the color this and another. They got it legally by law, back the, 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 you know, the text, the context, and how it goes, and how what the conditions is, and what produces this situation. That's what we have now. You know what I mean? So it ain't gonna get around it. So that's why I make my arguments why they be irrefutable because I cannot you repudiate it because I'm not me saying it. I got it where it's written, documented. You know, and I got them saying it. What the, what the doctrine, the ideology of white supremacy is. You know what I mean? And so much so, what I do is go get the 1901 convention and get a guy named John B. Knox, who was the attorney for the convention. He said, what do we want? We want white oh, supremacy. <laughs> How do we get white supremacy? We got to go to every every county, everything. We got to do this, 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 this. He said, then we get it. We use the blacks as the, as the, as the, as the poster boy. He said, but the poor whites, they're ignorant and they're inferior because they're not in that class. So they use a class struggle on the poor white. You got to use the white woman and say, we can't use that white woman because we don't know what she do. We know what them blacks going to do, but we don't know what that white woman will do. So we got to leave her out. She can't have, she can't be in French. Now, then you got to go, when you fight that, but the rest of the nation doing the same thing. New York Times, irreducible racism is growing and permeating the whole country. Uh, the, the primary uh, the primary election between uh, Eric Cantor Eric Cantor and uh, Brett David Brett David Brett was a college professor you know never been no politician just like Trump and the people in Virginia uh, elected him over the number one man behind John Boehner I mean that's the racism man and you got it from the New York Times the only place the news is fit to print you know what I mean so you got to just look and see what it is but we are fighting a battle where we treat the effects and not the cause you got to go to the cause man well, how dare they can walk down Charlottesville with neo Nazis with the swastika you know what I mean and, 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 and talk about the knife and the blood and the blood and the soil in America something they supposed to be we died for fighting against Adolf Hitler now what about the fact that Trump said there were some very fine people yeah. Those marchers. You know what? He, he, what do you say? That's nothing. You put on, actually, it is. He, he said that. Yeah, I know. Very fine yeah. people. No, you know, he said. He, he, no, he said. You know, he, no, he said. It's, it, it, people on both sides. That's right. Now, right, well, what people on both sides? But what they did is they zero it into the swastika. Don't be mad at Trump. Be mad at the goddamn swastika. Because Trump ain't even running his goddamn mouth. They have got. They are killing you. You know what I mean? And, they, and then they had to, the, they had the thing where they make the swastika, what people made the swastika with the people. And they had to break up the thing they were doing that, right? Laid down in Brentville. You know what I mean? So you got to understand what time it is, man. And then you can deal with it because what Trump is doing is bringing it all out where it's irrefutable. Nobody can question it. You know, so you can say he's a part of it. He's a part of it. He ain't preaching divisiveness. We already divided. His part. No, no, no. We are the country is divided. No, he's doing his emphasis. He is divided. 
Hey, listen. No, you can't listen. Ain't no way. We talking about before hey. Trump come in here. We've been divided right here. You know, before Trump even thought about being president in 2014, uh, you know, you had the Eric Cantor thing. All right? They were doing the same thing. Now, that, wait, same thing. Now, when Trump come in, he just calls it out so everybody can illustrate it and see what it really is. You know what I mean? Because he can't change that. For one of years, this shit has been way before, way before, you know, what it is. But you was number one on hate, on hate list right now. Call him, get a check on the definition list. You was number one. Why? They, they, they kill the blacks in the script because they don't count. The Jew, they got intelligence to be able to educate and go out and work and fight back with the defamation league and whatever. They, but the other ones don't have that. But this is what you got to do. You got to go to the cause, not the effect. The system, man. The system and how it's it, it reinvent itself, rebrand itself. You know what I mean? And so what we're doing again is retreating Trump. Well, look what he said. What, what he said, look what the actual truth is. Is he, is he did anything different than what is already happening? He, 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 did, he added one iota or nothing. Because whatever they do now, everybody's looking at it. Because you got the technology, you got to go out there and get it, to bring it in, you get a chance to see it. Before, you couldn't even say Klan, Ku Klux Klan. You couldn't say Z or nothing. You just say it's white supremacy, you can't do it. Now you can name them by identification. You can explain to the parents what they are. Because if you don't acknowledge that you got them, you can't fix it if it ain't broken. You got to first acknowledge that it exists. And when you acknowledge that you need a change, then you can change what you want. You acknowledge that you know now, no exists. You know what I mean? So what the man is doing is a debt of gratitude to America owes to him. And he put himself in harm's way. Actually, Trump, white, blonde, blue-eyed, billionaire. That's what the whole ideology of white supremacy is. And yet he's forsaken that. To put himself in harm's way. He hasn't forsaken it. Yes, he has. No, he's champion. No, 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 he ain't champion. He's champion. He, listen, he, listen, listen. They done tried everything you watch. It ain't but two things left. They're going to, they're gonna, and within the next near future, they're going to try to impeach him. So what they're doing now is through public opinion. Just don't forget now how Hitler did it from Edinburgh to Nuremberg, from this one to that one. He first colored the population where people that have been living with Jews for five centuries. I mean, now five generations, 100 years, you know what I mean? And then, all of a sudden, they become, they're not good. They can't, you got to do this here. You know, every evil and foul deed that you got to be a participant. That's what he says. All right? So they use that propaganda, and they put them lies and distort the truth, and the coloration, and then when he got them. That's what Trump does. Yeah, what, but see, no, but here, the difference is, you got people like you that's going to be the vanguard. You got people that do go, so say what you got to say. Do what you got to do. I ain't saying lay off of him. No, stay on him. If you catch him wrong, I tell you in the, in the political, he, he's a Judas. All right, so, but if he ain't wrong, what he is doing is opening your eyes that it exists. It exists. That's what you got to understand. You can't deal with nothing if it don't exist. No, no. Listen, you should be in the back. No, no, he, no, no. Because you know what? If you're going to change, we got to change it ourselves. We got to be, people got to grow and outgrow enlightenment, intelligence, and live to those founding principles. The nation was founded upon liberty, freedom, justice, equality, you know what I mean, and peace. You got to be able to deal with those things that when you, when you contradict and abuse those uh, uh, founding principles, then I don't care who you are. It's the same thing. At least he's bringing it out. You can't fight it when you can't see it. They've been hidden. That's why when the Klan used to ride, you used to ride with the hoods on because you wouldn't know who they was. It'd be your next door neighbor. It'd be the grocery man. It'd be the preacher. But he got the sheet on his head. You don't know who he is. You understand what I mean? And then when he see, oh, how, how are you? God is so glad that they, they're really mistreating the Jews, aren't they? You know, he know you Jewish. You know? And in the meantime, you know, you, you close your eyes. You put the hood back on your head and go right on back out there and nap your family off, knock everybody off. You got to understand, man. You got to expect what Trump is doing is he's, he's bringing it out like it's a cancer that we didn't know we had. Now we know we got cancer. All right? So now we got to be able to, how do we repudiate this? How do we resolve this? How do we cure it? You know what I mean? Because everything he says, they scrutinize and vet like 90 going west. You know what I mean? So that's why I told him, I said, Trump, now you know what it is to be a black man. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> what you say, continue tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.